Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> good afternoon, good evening, good night, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching us and how long you've been it watching almost, that screen so far. It started off as evening, yeah. it all, and it was almost morning right now for we us. We truly appreciate your patience and understanding. Each um, and every one of you. Here. Absolutely, we do. We really do, and we hope it's worth it. The only uh, thing is, though, I've, I... I I, I, in the corner of my eye, saw some chat going past. Many, many, many bits, which was great. And I saw some congratulations, and I don't know what it was for. The congratulations was actually for Evie. Right. Because Evie went through her citizenship um, <gasps> of the US. I was speaking to her just before she was getting ready to do it. So Yay. congratulations. Finally. Congratulations, Evie. Absolutely. So congratulations. Well done, Evie. How cool. 
was that? Yes, absolutely. So, um... We're here, finally. Oh, we, my goodness. Well, that was... That was yeah. not fun. That was not fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I agree. But we are like a dog with a bone at times. We will not... We will not give up. We will continue fighting all the way through. It's the only way we know, right? We balloon people. We find a way. Okay, so um, thank you very much for joining us this um, special um, event. Special late event. Yes, we're going to do a forty minutes com uh, forty minute competition. No, no, we'll do it. We'll, that takes an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. No, no, we'll uh, we'll make it ten minutes for the competition. Ten minutes for the competition. Uh, yeah, guys on that right side, that. you you were right with ten minutes for the competition. I'm seeing a lot of no's. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of no's from That's the no, competitors. We'll stick with the forty minutes then. Unfortunately, Kobe had to leave us, um, so apologies to Kobe for not doing that. We will do more competitions. We're going to do it we will. more regularly. We've got and bigger plans. Time. Yes, and hopefully uh, YouTube won't kick us again. Um, that would be good. I'll try to bring you something special, but they said no. Absolutely. So, um, on the competition side, Dom, what are they playing for? They are playing for One of these. a fantastic prize, Absolutely. courtesy of our friends at Premium Balloon Company. Balloon, bl premium Balloon Accessories. Yeah, anyway. The, uh, it's a brand new premium smart sizer, so it's helium, uh, it does latex, it does foil, it does bubbles, it does everything. It's perfect for a retailer and decorator. John is not included though. John, no, he doesn't, but his supporters. Don't take that as a good thing or a bad thing. <clears throat> <laughs> well, it's just a thing. Just a thing. It's just a thing. <laughs> right, it is. It's a fantastic prize. Um, so there it's we go. That's what we are playing awesome. for. Um, we What's have... that special moment? Gimbal. <laughs> gimbal. We like the gimbal. Yeah. You block at the gimbal. Oh, sorry. The gimbal. the gimbal is awesome. It is. I'll, I'll, I can't stress that enough. Okay. Um, we've got a couple of things as well while we're on there. We've got the merch, as we always do. I but you guys know about that. Have been arriving in the post, I've Absolutely. been Absolutely. But also, um, we have, we've got a little bit of a survey that we would um, like you guys to take part in. Please. Um, it's if you go to the same place as the quiz. So if you go to quiz.qcorner.tv and then enter the number nine six one four nine, like it says along the bottom of here, um, what you can do is right we can. Face. There's a few uh, a few questions there that you can do at your leisure. Yes. Um, you don't have to wait for us to go through them all. Um, you've got. Uh, what what three words best describe how you are currently feeling the balloon industry about the balloon industry? You've also got um, questions about what country you're from, and also um, which of these options best describes your current balloon business. Then there's a couple of bits about verification. You just need to put your credit card details in. <laughs> don't don't. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't. Uh, what else we got on there? We've also got, uh, choose your top three, top yeah. three, not just one, but one, top two, three, three, preferred support materials that Pioneer Balloon could help your business with. And then also as well as Pioneer Balloon are looking to deliver online balloon classes. If this were to happen, what length of class would you prefer? So, um, would you like um, them to start on time? Yes. Would you like them to have sorry. zero... Uh, <gasps> technical issues so what you can do is if you can get yourself on to there yes and um yeah you can put in you don't have to do want. it straight away it will be still open after the show it is but you yeah. know what i'm going to go on here i'm going to go on here a moment dom and i'm going to do, do that now uh quiz says so everybody can fill this in q corner you're from england dot tv slash nine you sure for some type one four nine and then it means, look, uh, what words are you, what three words best describe how we currently feel about the balloon industry? Well, here's a one, I'm with this one. Yeah. We'll have that one. We have, uh, I've got this one, and then I'm going to have... What else? Uh, Made him think now. Uh, yes, Evie, it will be amazing. I'm going to do them three words. So I'm going to do that, and what that does is it should... If I do that, can you do it? I don't know. So we're doing this one. Oh. How long is the quiz I online like for, Ashani? Good question. How long are you leaving it up for? The quiz, I think we're going to do it for uh, up to a week. Yeah. At least for the next few days, it'll be up, Ashani. So 
once the show's over and anybody watching for the next couple of days after today's live show it will be up there pop on have there a we look, go. look. Nine, oh, six, one, somebody's put the code in as well yeah but there that's not how you're feeling changing I hope. hopeful coma okay that's different probably coma. a food coma for me yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> absolutely or is it just bad spelling it's actually a comma and you just paused <laughs> see what i did there yeah nice. okay um so Hold please me. um be honest as honest as yes. you possibly can on there you can enter in whatever you want um what else we got as well we've, we've got, got somebody a special guest he's special waiting guest. bless him he's got a special guest with a special guest he has i can see so we can <laughs> see another special guest in the corner yes yeah um so what we're going to do is first of all um is get we're this going competition to get the competition started, started. these so, guys have been waiting yeah let's see let's have a look at our contestants here we go look at this oh, we've got from everybody from the everywhere world. we've got people from germany from france lebanon indonesia brazil ukraine 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 brazil ukraine uh mickey is actually from bermuda which is pretty awesome uh is belarus right? thailand hong kong jeff wong from hong kong mexico uh i think that's another ukraine uh hong kong and scotland i don't know where that is and luxembourg <laughs> it's the cold, uh, all it's the way the cold a bit look at that we've got all we've got all of our competitors ready to go we've got 19 of them on there so i think this is officially the biggest online table arrangement contest live on q corner in the history of the world <laughs> today today <laughs> so uh what we're going to do is we're going to get this started um we're going to have uh, we need some sort of countdown can we get that ticket no. on there we can't even oh get sorry that thing. one i thought you were talking about something else no no we can't do that one where were we putting this because i seem to have just not put it on the middle of the screen I'm for the moment we'll just do, do this we're we'll just have gonna have this one is gonna that, we're gonna have that down. one we've got 40 minutes counting down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get these started um and they're gonna have 40 minutes to do it um the rules are that i'm just gonna get rid of that briefly uh, the rules are it's a table arrangement not necessarily a centerpiece um, it's also we've got it's only Qualitex or North Star yep um, well, let me remove this so everyone can see there we go uh, Qualitex or North Star airfield only and no pre-inflation okay but they have been allowed to do water weights and um, fantasy flowers or anything like that covering poles and stuff but that's the main rules it is it is so it is. what we can do is we can get them started is everybody ready on this side all of our i'm ready contestants ready <laughs> are we ready okay here we go then ready and five four, four three, three two one, one and begin let's go. Go, go 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 okay they're aware okay so now they're going to have 40 minutes and it's counting down from it's here. official it's official it's, it's official. a countdown yes <laughs> so what we're going to do is uh, instead of sitting and watching these guys as much as i'm sure everybody would love to we'll have like uh, the first 18 seconds that was uh, intense <laughs> instead of watching these guys all the way through what we're going to do is we've got some we've got another special guest uh with us waiting in the wings um to uh, talk to you about what's what are they going to talk about tom they're going to talk about the current situation the current we've got situation different phases i think around the world of where we're at being closed open and uh, what we're doing next uh, and this uh, this guest has uh, experienced that along with us and they're at a certain phase that's got some really good helpful insights as to to what they're doing next in their business okay okay so without further ado i think what we'll do is we'll get rid of our um, contestants for the moment bye for now see you soon and, work hard we can see you um, back please uh, welcome to q corner again mr luke where is as he many been? of us he's what do you need why are you not seeing my feed because i know why i'm not seeing your feed because i can it's... hear a look i'm looking me here <laughs> you can i can i'm i'm here okay now i can uh i'll be here soon <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it's just one of them isn't it it's a coming it's because it switched off from that to that look you've got a cheerleader in the chat as well go luke go luke yay <laughs> go go it's because you the, can do it. No, the NDI has been switched off for the other one, I believe. 
Ah, okay. We had a reset in between. We had many resets, and it causes havoc. <laughs> so it really I think does. I'll put two. What do you need? I need that to be. I need that to have some sort of NDI output on that. This. Yes. Okay. So your externals settings. Let's see what I can do. Oops. Is that giving you anything? No, I don't think the NDI is switched on the sentence. Technology uh, Wednesday. Technology. Technology, great. There we go. Uh, uh, output. See if you can pick that up. I shall try. We will see if it zooms through this again. No, it's just zooming straight through that again. We will get him. We promise. We'll not give up. Yeah, patience is the key. Yeah, tech, yeah, tech is... Uh, it's great some it's, days. It's special. Try now. Try now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to drop them on. Ah, there it is. There we go. There we go. If we do that, then we should have... There he is. And I'll give him some audio. <sighs> Who's that? Okay. Huzzah. Hello. Hello, Luke. Mr. Bertrand. Do you see me? Yeah, we see, we you, see and you and we hear you. And hear you. Yeah. Loud so, and clear. At this point, I do not know. Oh, okay. At this point, I do not know what people are seeing now. They see you. Okay, because I am watching Q-Corner as well on YouTube. That Which has is... 12 seconds delay. Yes, it does. So, um, you're live, technically live, so don't swear. Okay, Luke? No, no I see you guys on the other screen. And that is is that better? <laughs> there you go, is that better? There we go. That's better. I thought, That's better. I thought okay. you'd like that. Right, okay. <laughs> Now, another technical gremlin gone. Right, we've got Luke on screen. Now, Luke has... Um, three years of experience in this business. Yeah, three years. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh, you I'm... can tell by the beard. He's only 27. <laughs> well, we forgot our props. We had no, props. Just a bit more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had some yeah, Luke beards the other day. We had day. some Luke beards the other day when we were on a meeting with him, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we lost it today. We didn't have the two-tone look, though. No. But no. ours was single-coloured. It was. Yeah, it it's was. not the distinguished look. No. So, um, the reason that Luke uh, is is on the show today is that we were having a really nice conversation about the situation um, with the coronavirus and the fact that we have a retail business in the UK and obviously Luke has a retail business in uh, Belgium. And... Um, Belgium's relaxed the lockdowns and he, he wanted to share his experiences about um, starting up a business again. Dom, you forgot to say something. What was that? Belgium. Oh, it's like a country. <laughs> it's a bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> it's our standard joke. <laughs> Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, Dom's going to figure out some sort of way of being able to have this guy on as an overlay while we show some videos of Luke's store. Yeah, I'm totally going to do that right in yeah. about three seconds. Give me, give, give me, um, give me a second. I'm going to. Well, I'm going to talk uh, for the moment or with uh, Luke because um, at the moment in the UK, if you're not aware, uh, all non-essential stores are closed. They have to remain closed up until uh, June the 1st so June the 1st we're allowed to reopen again um, and we are we were talking about whether we we're going to open fully or do a reduced kind of opening and what we've decided for our own business uh, because of where we are situated uh, we're going to have a reduced opening and and kind of we're gonna measure um, how much reaction there is, how much demand there is, and we'll work to that demand in, in that way. Yeah. I was also just noticing there, Luke, you've just put on the chat, you've travelled to 49 countries so far. Yep. Yeah. Isn't it 49 countries that have got the virus? I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just uh, hashtag just saying. Also, as well, guys, uh, Luke is here for you. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the um, chat. In the chat. But before we go on to our first video, we're just going to quickly go back to our competitors and have a quick look at them. Ooh. There we go. Look at them. Thirty-two minutes forty-seven seconds left, guys. Finally, Vitalik here has actually got his balloons all sorted. Finally, it took him that long to get that sorted. So, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> but they're nicely in a row. We're nicely in a row. A bit of gnawing, that is. Is it? It's a bit of gnawing. Okay. It's a technical term for laying out your work area. Okay. It's because there's no ling. So, right okay that. let's go on to some videos you got that sorted you think you can get it can you get, oh, you get, can you get luke up twice on this screen i can't I let's do it try like this. this there we go it's luke, a luke and baby it's a luke. little luke <laughs> so if that's oh, a little he's luke he's let's... closer to you than he is to me he's fell out uh, yeah we <laughs> might need to make him smaller as well for these videos or we can talk discuss it as well but we'll have a, a little luke at these videos <laughs> That's why we were late. We're working on that material. <laughs> so let's have a little look at these videos. Um, we're going to do this. See if it'll work. Our first so video. You might have to get rid of him for a moment. Okay. So this is Luke's store. It is. And we're going to stop at about there. There we go. Because um, what it was is that, as you can see, there's a video, the video pauses on the poster at the door. And a good location at the door as well. So yeah. Right at the handle eye height as well. Yeah. People are going to be looking at that and it's a um, it's very strong message, right, Luke? Yes, it is. So I got these... Um... There's, there's plenty of people that start making uh, leaflets and all kind of information that you can download. Uh, I got this from uh, a local Belgian, um, let's, let's call it um, independent union. And they give out this kind of material that you can download and print yourself. Yet I did adapt it for my shop and I did add a few more uh, rules onto it. Yeah, so what we've done is we're having a little look at the rules um, that are on there. So if I do uh, this one here, I think this um, was a message um, that it's the first message that's kind of on there, Luke. Yeah? Yes. Um, and That's on the top. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's the first thing because what you're doing is, I think that's setting. Uh, obviously, this has been translated. It's you have it on in Dutch, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's putting the ownership. Can you put him, put him back on there, but smaller. So you just oh, there he is. Yeah, Look. let me. Oh. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move you at the same time as well. Oh, there um, you go. Yeah, just put the onus okay. and the um, the the kind of not the pressure, but the kind of trying to encourage people to take the ownership of the issue to say actually it's on you to, yeah. to stop this yeah because it's, well, it's it's in it's all together yeah yes it's help us right i mean you've you've yeah. said there in the first two words they are very bold and um, they're in full caps right so we would say it's shouting it's shouting it but it's in full caps and it's in red and it's a strong message it's help us it's a it is it's a team effort thing right Absolutely. Um, and then from there, so we're going to stop the spread of the coronavirus itself. And then we have, uh, that is number two on there, which is keep uh, XXX foot X distance. It's some sort of quadratical equation, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so many feet to the power of X. I, I left that blank. Because in Belgium, we have to keep a distance of one and a half meter. Where I think you will have to keep two meters. Yes. It's, I think it's because some people can't measure two meters. So they went with a wider distance to make it safer. <laughs> I think in Belgium, I think you're, you're more capable of understanding the 1.5 meter rule. So is that standard as well? Because obviously you guys are running on 1.5 and I think there's a lot of other European countries that are working on 1.5. 
But I don't know any others that are working on two meters at the moment. Uh, no, just just us, I think. Yeah. But maybe it's because the UK is a bit more emotionally distant as well. <laughs> not, <laughs> just, <laughs> not just socially distant. Uh, I don't know. Who I mean, knows? But again, that strong, consistent message from all retailers and businesses is really helping to to drive that um, message out there. So you you know we're, we're seeing oh see Tamami there, thank you. Two meters in Japan as well. Okay, there we go. Um, so it's not okay. just us Brits, yeah. But um, mm. yeah, it's a very valid point. You need to check your your rules in in you know your country as to what's specific. Um, but the message is the same. It's just the distances. It's slightly different. Yeah, Israel there uh, saying two meters too. Um, and then we then also we have it. this one. Let me just uh, hide Luke again there for a second. Now. Okay, so this is in Belgium, we're allowed one person per 10 square meters. Okay. My shop is 120 square meters. But when I detect and uh, detect all the the racking and and what furniture would take in, that leaves sixty square meter. Okay. Okay. So technically, I am allowed six people in my shop. Yet, I posted four. Yeah. It's it's better so it as yeah, well. Better to be under than two than over, right? Does that count? I don't know. Obviously, and, and obviously, we're learning all this all the time. You know how it's saying? Does this is this people, including staff, or is it customers, or um, or is it ambiguous? Is it a... in this in this case, it would be it would be the customers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For us, it would be the customers. Yeah, I, I know there's a lot of places in the UK at the moment, the essential stores that are open that are following a similar. Um, process N not the maximum people on the floor um, because I don't think we have a, a standard kind of thing that's been organized properly in that way that I'm aware of um, but the one person per household uh, yeah. unless it's a single yeah. parent family I also think as well it really does depend on the kind of footprint of your store because different formats are are better than others you know an open space that allows people to move freely is good but if your store has lots of little alcoves and you know places where people could kind of trip over each yeah. other uh, then bringing that number down is is a safer way to operate it's um, also more manageable as well right mm, yeah it's better for the you one better. person family is uh, advised by the Belgian state yeah okay well I mean, we've seen many situations now where you know, they may come out as a couple, perhaps, but one person enters the store and the other person stays uh, out the way because people are, are taking it serious and respecting these requests from store owners. So, absolutely. Um, I think that's a very good, and these are good graphics for that. Yeah. Just as a thing on there as well, can you just quickly uh, flash up the... the graphics? Yeah. Regarding graphics, again, I did copy those from the leaflet I got, but I think that this type of graphic. Everybody can have access because I would think that on, for instance, Freepik. Do you know that site? Yeah. Yes. F R E E. Free, yeah. Freepik. E I K. Freepik. Yeah. There's plenty of that kind of graphics that you can have for free. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of material out there as well um, in the different countries that are. Uh, you know, stylized towards a particular country that uh, are appealing uh, across uh, the different cultures. Mm. Um, it, it's good to see that there's there's a lot of that content yes. coming out there. So Absolutely. Yeah. Somebody was saying there in Romania wearing masks is um, mandatory now uh, in Romania. Yes. Yeah. I, think we're I was watching a video that. earlier on um, KLM. Um, and what they're doing to mm. uh, it's interesting for obviously starting back up with flights and things and it's very interesting what they're doing um, from the video that they put out there it looked like they were only allowing one person per set of three seats well we get that all the time anyway <laughs> don't we <laughs> but um, there's a lot of things that they're putting in place but you know one of the things that they were doing is putting only one person per three seats which will be interesting on the flights I wonder how that will affect costs and the like. Okay, so yes, yeah, so the next one there is yeah. yes. no, no mask, only cough or sneeze into your elbow or 
in a paper napkin and dispose. Although pointed out there, in some countries now it is mandatory to wear a mask. Um, yeah. And uh, sneezing inside one of them. Yeah. Mm. It's interesting times. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we've just we've just uh, ordered a load of masks um, because, like we said in June, we're planning on opening up. Uh, on a, I've got mine here. <laughs> not that kind of mask, though. No, no. We're sure? we're opening up, um, so we're just getting ourselves ready for doing that. It's not that kind of mask. Okay. No, no. I got mine still <laughs> over there as well. We really, really should tidy up from the convention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, is there a, a set thing? Because at the moment, obviously, there's there's so many different masks out there. Um, it's hard to say what's. Uh, I think people are taking advantage of the situation and selling masks that are not fit for purpose. So. Yeah, but on the other side, they are saying that just uh, you know a, a you know a scarf or a, you know like a just a, a facial covering, which is stopping the you know the the sneezing and the coughing spreading yeah. is, is better than not wearing a mask and also not to buy the surgical type masks that would then inhibit the people who really need them from buying them. So we're at that balance of, you know, who should have them, who I don't can know. get them. I don't know for the other countries, but here plenty, plenty of people are making the masks themselves. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of that. Absolutely. So remember when everybody was buying toilet paper? Yeah. I've got some if you need some. Well, well, the same problem now is everybody is buying... The elastic. The, how do you call that? El elastic. These the, elast elastic yeah, bands elast to yeah, make yeah. masks. Yeah. And two, everywhere sold out. 260 Qs. 260 Qs. We see a market. 260 Qs. <laughs> Another use. Perfect. <laughs> Always the businessman, Luke. Always the businessman. <laughs> Um, I there was a there's obviously there's been a lot of discussion whether these masks are worth it or whatever, um, but somebody sent me a great little cartoon and I thought I thought it was it was really um, funny but also it was to the point and what it was is uh, just imagine that there's a guy there and he's having a pee on your leg. Missing. Yes, have you seen, you've seen the same one? Yeah. Yeah, so it's a guy standing there, and you're you're both not wearing trousers, and he's peeing on your leg. He says, "If you're wearing trousers, your child, you've got a bit of protection. But if you're both wearing trousers, he just gets wet." <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I thought it was a really good, yeah. it was a good to the point uh, cartoon, right? And so Luke's seen the same one. <laughs> I like that one. It's a good one. Yeah, I've heard it. I haven't seen it, but yep. yes. Oh, one second, just before uh, we need to pop up that time, Dom, because yeah, we need to get our second, people. Back, Luke, one second, Luke. I know there's a competition going on around yeah. here somewhere as well. <laughs> uh, He's lost it, though. He's got it. <laughs> here we go, guys. Oh, guys, my goodness. Guys, uh, just so you know, you've got 20 minutes <laughs> left on your competition. You're halfway through your 40-minute competition. I hope you're doing really well with that. Uh, and if anybody things, needed the fantastic. translation, trousers equals pants. Absolutely. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> Larissa has done this time to do this fantastic geometric monkey as well. I know that. That's just showing off. Absolutely. Showing off. Right, so we'll let them get back to it and we'll talk about what we want to talk about, which is um, this one. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. So it's... Everybody definitely wants to, to pay electronic. Um, I think in, in the last week I had one person, one person that paid cash. Right. Okay. Yeah. I know there's a there's quite a few places in the UK now where they're just not not taking cash at all. It's just all. They've also in well, I don't know about everywhere else, but we have a the contactless payment system, yes. which is um, used a lot, and the threshold uh, of what we can pay on there has been raised uh, due to this current situation mm -hmm. to allow more people to pay contactless. Here is fifty. How much? Ours was thirty pounds, but now it's gone to forty-five, I believe. Forty-five, um, which is okay. like fifty. It's euros about again. it's about one million euros or something. I yeah, think. give or take. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a um, a very good reaction to the the situation. Um, it, it it comes with some consideration, I imagine, for the banks because that that transaction is a guaranteed uh, payment. Uh, so it it. it, it it is and does come with some thought, and it's making everybody safer, right? Yeah, exactly. So it is a 
it's a helpful thing to the situation. Um, There's actually some really cool things which Luke has been in his, doing in his store um, mm. to help with all of these things. We'll have to lose Luke, I think, br briefly. Yep. Um, and then... We can still hear him. Oh, little... that was the other one as well. Please only touch what you're likely to buy. Yeah, I think this is the hardest so, one. <laughs> well, technically, technically, if somebody would touch plush and not buy it, we would have to put it in quarantine for 72 hours. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So 72 hours. And if it's a harder it's... surface, because harder surfaces can retain the virus for longer, um, if I believe. I'm, yeah, and, I'm the, and the logistics of you having to put that somewhere so it's away from the customers, and then also the added... Having the stock to sell to the next customer. And then the risk of you actually having to handle it, wash and yeah. sanitise. It's a logistical yeah. issue. So trying to get our customers to embrace... It's one of the. It's actually that. one of the big reasons why we're choosing to kind of hold off opening fully as well is because we sell a lot of other products, not just balloons, but we sell a lot of um, fancy dress costume. Um, that requires to be picked up, touched, and tried, tried on, on, and everything. In its very nature. Yeah, and so, it's all soft. Again, it's you know, it's fabrics and things. So, so um, that that is a logistical challenge for us that we feel that we we couldn't overcome. So yeah, um, one so that we're we'll going to kind of... take it off. Plus, not a lot of people are having um, costume parties no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> not being able to get together in groups, it's a small issue. Well. well, I think that's a consideration of you know of opening, not opening, what's available, what's not available. Yeah. Is plush is still something that someone would want to buy now as a gift? It makes sense, but you just have to manage the expectations of. Please only pick it up if you're going to buy it. Right. Yep. Okay. What else do we have? I think that's it for the posters. Oh no, no, not this one. Please limit your visit in time. Yes. And I think especially more some so right shops. Now. <laughs> some shops would have uh, thirty minutes. Okay. But that would be kind of uh, supermarkets and such. There's a limit of thirty minutes. Okay. Have yeah. you have you imposed a, a limit at all, Luke, or are you just saying no. it's a self-regulated kind of thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah. It, that does make sense, though, because in our business, some customers could be a few minutes, but some, you know, it could be a longer process, and it's not that they're wasting time. It's just it's a longer process. Um, yeah, time to to kind of work out what they need and when yeah. it's going to be. And, and I'm sure you don't want any of your customers to feel like they're actually on the clock. Yeah. You know, you're standing there with a stopwatch going, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you yeah. must have the same type of customers that come to tell their life, their story. Their... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think it's... What it's for, so... what, what the event's about and everything that's gone before. Yeah. It's just that um, giving them the expectation of... I think some people, because they've been in lockdown for quite a, a while, my anticipation is... Once they're allowed out, perhaps, they, you know, they'll quite happily browse the shop, you know, just to see the light of day and have a conversation. But so just reminding them that, you know, limiting that time is, is, is helpful to everybody. Sue's just asked a question well, there. It, is... it is totally different. It is totally different than before because people came in and started talking about the weather. Right. <laughs> yeah. Now they start with, isn't it something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Sue's just said there he could possibly put the plush into a plastic cover. In Japan, everything is wrapped and it looks really lovely. So yeah, it's a, probably a good idea with cello wrap or something like that from from doing it. I have, I have more or less two thousand plush in my shop. Okay, it's a wrap. <laughs> Well, in all your spare time, Luke, yeah, yes. that you haven't been shaven, what you can do is you can wrap some teddy bears. I think it's a good idea. Well, it, we expect pictures tomorrow. Yes, absolutely. And we want bows on them as well. <laughs> and if you know, if you don't know how to make a fantastic bow to go on the top of that as well... May we recommend go, a video? Uh, yeah, on the very best balloon blog, um, there's a really fantastic video on how to make bows if you ever get stuck with that one. Right, let's have a little look about what's been going on in Luke's store to actually activate all of this sort of stuff so we're walking inside we're walking in the room inside of the look at them lovely balloons and... notice notice the balloons yeah oh yes we noticed the balloons from the convention still yep. up so we're going to have this on loop for a little bit so you can see but you can see that the first thing you go into is um sanitize 
so you've got us you've got a run on sanitizing gel is that right luke you've got a run on sanitizing gel that you're selling <laughs> <laughs> not at all so this is just a pedestal with the gel nobody's forced to use it right 50 percent do yeah placement of that is and... good yeah, yeah. The it's fact a suggestion you, right yeah and you've put that podium there right in the center yeah and it, and it's uh, it, it says i'm here to be used it's it's yeah it, it's very suggestive um so like you're saying it's it, it's there you're not forcing them but if someone you know takes the hint as we would say um <laughs> yeah absolutely i think it's a good it's a good hint yeah. yeah straight away it's making a suggestion and it's also um it's saying that it's you're serious about it because you open the door and it's right in front of you you know you're going to have to walk around it um if you're going to avoid yeah. it yeah no, I like that. It's a good touch. It is. Next one, keeping the safe distance. What are we doing about that? I love this one. I think it's great. Yeah. Using what you've got. If only people had a cameo silhouette that they could use to make <laughs> these stickers. If only. Yeah. So again, there's plenty of stickers available, but as you would have a cameo silhouette, why not just cut them yourself? Yeah. And in your colours as well, Luke, you know, so it's adding that bit of branding rather than something else uh, and you can make them that are suitable for your for your premises um but yeah, i like that it's in your it gives it your stamp on it right because luke also sent us um this one as well which is the um details mm -hmm. from the local bakery of what they've done about it and <laughs> a waiting room with the with where they've removed a seat <laughs> oh, I or it could be a big accident if I mean if you're standing there with a camera ready for somebody to go through that. <laughs> I just I just so know I did that love so... the, the fresh I did love the fresh paint bit. The fresh paint look. So they suggest that has been <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I thought that too. It was like you're not gonna sit on that for a very re for, but you are gonna think about it though, right? It's gonna make you think, which is obviously what it's it's there for. It yeah. is it is making you think about uh, what you're actually doing. For it, it's a it's a really good idea. Yeah. Again, just a little hint. Creates a barrier. What else do we have? I will give it a go to mommy. <laughs> so, I bought a plexi screen. In my I love case, this. Two meters by one. Mm -hmm. I drilled a few holes. When you drill holes, don't drill them too close to the edge. Yes. So stay away two three centimeters to drill your hole. And you can see as well as the, the fact that um, it's quite a solid yeah. screen. Uh, you can still see Four what's going is. on. Four mil, is it? Four mil, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, you can still see what's going on um, behind there. And yeah. obviously you can still see um, the customers from while you're working on the other side. But it's it's really nice. Um, You've got no permanent um, alteration to your a, a, a original counter, though. Which is great. So yeah. as as and when we can come back from this particular type of uh, safeguarding, yeah, you've got no long lasting, you know, negative structure that you'd have to deal with. Um, yeah. It looks very reassuring. Yes. It's good for the staff. It's good for the customer. But it, I imagine, and as was... you can see, I used a metal bar. Yes. So I can put magnets on there with any kind of promotion or whatever yes yeah so it helps yeah it's a new poster place but you're bringing that information directly to the customer um which is really good rather than having to have something to pass them they're not going to touch it it's there easy to see uh, and obviously if you laminate such documents um yeah, they're, they're going it. to be in a, it's something that you can wipe clean which is just as a quick update for our contestants one second luke just for a quick update to our contestants nine minutes you have nine minutes Ooh. left. Nine minutes, guys. Well, eight, nine eight, minutes. Eight minutes six. <laughs> right, One yes. thing very important. Plexi, you need to clean with a microfiber and lots of water. Okay. Is that because of scratches or something? The first, the first day I already made a mistake and I had a dry cloth and it scratched immediately. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's a good tip. Yeah, being it is because that's a, that's a quick. You want it looking nice. As... 
Yeah. Well, the, the, the clearer that it looks, the more reassurance of its cleanliness as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's a, um, a very, very good tip, Microfiber. that one. Yeah. Microfiber, lots of water. Yeah. Very good. Um, this one is what I, I say I don't like. I, I much prefer the one in your store compared to this one. Yes. Because um, this one is a, is a real structure and it looks kind of makeshift. I think yours looks classy. Mm -hmm. And minimalist mm -hmm. whereas this with the big there it looks a bit chunky it's like um uh, Dom, Dom and i were discussing we've both been to a local hardware store by us and they've made these plexi screens and they, they've just put as much wood they've got these really big thick chunks of wood that are holding these really thin yeah. plexi screens there and you think why yeah what are you doing you know well, yeah it just doesn't need to be like a bank counter it looks like a, it looks like it's a fortress yeah yeah and looks, i think that's not what we're trying to it's achieve a, it's a barrier to the customer whereas yeah yeah um by the way that screen comes from a do-it-yourself four mil the metal bars the chains all that together i remember was 90 euros okay we were having this conversation about the cost because like we've got a f two or three local hardware stores and we were thinking about the cost of the materials that was in yours luke and it, and it would be a similar kind of costing you know it's the the the, the perspex the the plexiglass is the probably the most expensive element uh, and obviously depending on how much you're doing but minimal tools um you, c you can and, do this and the only thing is I started calling my do-it-yourself shop before we had the rules. Yeah. And when I rang, I said, "Do you have plexi?" And I said, "Yeah, we have two left." Yeah. Yeah. So don't wait. Don't yeah. wait till last. Go that's, for it. It is right. So I mean, that's that's a really good tip. That as well as just don't wait for the rules to be written. You know you're going to need certain materials and plexiglass is certainly on that one is going to be well, a very helpful i know there's a lot of companies making like custom screens and, mm -hmm. and that may be suitable for a lot of people but there's definitely a delay in production delivery and that kind of thing on them but try and source that solution you know get that done earlier uh, as soon as you can because this is going to be something that's going to be needed for for the foreseeable future and it's a yeah exactly it's, it's a not, minimal cost we're going to learn to live with a, with the ongoing effects for for a while so it is an investment for the future as well okay so yes but yes okay. I like that touch that was very good we also have this one as well we had the lovely Innes it was a birthday the other day so everybody yes. if you can wish Innes a happy birthday that would be fantastic she was 40 years old the other day so happy birthday to Innes yep and what did she get for her birthday? You, you dare she say anything hand... else, Luke. You dare say anything else. <laughs> she got some hand sanitizer. She got balloons. <laughs> and she got, look, she got this new mask. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> so that is, that is, I have to mention, that is made by my lovely daughter, Valentin. Very good. And this is what we do for every customer that comes in. We put okay. on the mask and we clean the hands. And that's reassurance again that that that's given the customer confidence that yeah. you've looked after your store you've looked after your staff and that you're going to look after your customers so that that's a very good strong way of saying absolutely you know we're, we're interested in your in your um safety we're going to do a quick update for our competitors oh. as well oh, we have long. only four and a half minutes left guys oh, ho, ho, ho. four and a half oh, minutes so finish, you I need think. to be finishing up if you aren't already finished Finishing up. Four and a half minutes to go, guys. Okay. I think, uh, yes, our, uh, one of them there is done. Maybe it's two. Or one. Uh, yeah, we've got at least one done. Uh -huh, Zahara's done. Yes. Yes. But now she's thinking, oh, should I? Should right, I so check? we've only got four minutes now, guys. Yeah. You've only got four minutes left to, uh, to do this, and we've got four minutes to get through this. So uh, we've got electronic payment i like this one i was saying to, i was saying to dom i really like this idea was this your idea or did you many people do this right i've never seen it because because keith was telling me he says oh, i love the q-tips i said oh I like like a q corner tip q -tip. <laughs> and i'm like no no, no q-tips <laughs> i was like what do you mean it's like a q corner tip no, no. q-tips where you cut them in half and use them for the uh for the credit card machine i like this i think it's a great idea so or or they swipe, but yeah. as I said before, when it's a payment over fifty, yep, 
they need that. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. I know there's some people. We were again. We were discussing this. People have put plastic over the keys. So what? Because it's very hard to complete to keep washing the keypad down on a on a machine like this. But if they have plastic we did over that the first days, right? It worked. It worked. We did that yeah. the first days. Yeah. Then decided to go for the cotton. I, I like this idea. I think it's really good. This is a confidence one again, though. If you have the plastic on, as an owner, you know you've cleaned it. Yes. But perhaps the customer doesn't know that it's been cleaned between transactions. Yeah. So yeah. the, the, the Q-tips are a way that the customer goes, this is mine, this is new, hasn't been used, and, and it's and, done, and, it's and then it's discarded. Yeah. Uh, there's a question from Tamami. Do you have um, hand sanitizer outside of your store? Not outside. Okay. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I know you, we, we couldn't do it outside of ours either. Yeah. But it's, uh, we, if we put it outside, we'd have to keep putting another one out. Then, yeah. Then another one out. <laughs> then another one out. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't last. <laughs> yeah, it's a great but, idea. We'll see in a minute. Yes, I, I know. I know what's we'll coming. See in a minute, what happens with the door? I know it's coming. Here we go. <laughs> so there we go. And we notice as well there's a recurring theme in the fact that Ines is doing all the work. I've always said this. Yeah, we've always <laughs> known this. <laughs> so we use, we use this spray on a tissue and we clean the hinge. And today I even had a compliment somebody said oh i never would have thought about that oh i really really do appreciate that you clean this for us yeah there we go yeah and i think that's what people are seeing though luke is you're cleaning it for them rather than cleaning it for the last person and thinking that it's dirty it's you're presenting it for that next customer coming in yeah i mean in a lot of the supermarkets there's somebody there at the door and they're just cleaning the handles of the trolleys and the baskets and things that mm -hmm. add for people and again it's that confidence right it's the confidence in yeah it. and you've seen them doing it and what i've noticed is people are doing it thoroughly yeah it's not just a talk no 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 it's it's, it's, yeah. it, it's being done with with a specific, you know, I'm going to do it because I really want to make sure that uh, we're protecting our customers. Yeah. And that's a, a very good, strong message that uh, seems to be mm -hmm. what, what's interesting. What you've done, though, Luke, is you've conveyed that in your actions. Um, yeah. You know, without having to talk to the customers, you, you've, you've showed them how. We need to do that countdown. Oh, because my goodness. We're running, yeah. uh, I didn't realize yeah. how close it is. The countdown uh is we're down to just 30 seconds guys oh my goodness 30 seconds one two to the left them we need to do that to that one there we've got 20 seconds guys if you're not finished you really need to be you've only got 20 seconds left what i know 20 seconds uh you've got now only got uh 10. do we, we throw them in the background or we got 10 or Nine. The time is off a little. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Oh, the audience went wild. <laughs> See, and it was just Luke in the background cheering as well. So, no, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Innes was doing it. Not Luke. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, um, to our contestants for the competition. Guys, you have only uh, 10 minutes now Look, to put it against... Uh, she made a person. You made the way she made all of that this takes out of one balloon. That. That's fantastic. I've been lied to. Yes. So what you need to do now, guys, is for our contestants, they need to take uh, photos of the front and the back, at least the front and the back of each design, and send them straight off to the email in the rules, in that email address for Sue Baller, um, for our judges to be judged. Yes. Um, and the results will be available on the next Q corner. So, yes, make sure you take photographs of all the way around it, though, as well. Yeah. Good so quality photographs, as many as you can. That would be really nice. There's some fantastic designs that I can see already. And yes, so I'm it's... looking forward to seeing these. But what we'll do is, everybody, can we just have a nice big wave from our contestants? And can we have a nice round of applause for everybody watching? Thank you very much for taking part, guys. Everybody wave. Everyone wave to the camera. 
and some are, some there. aren't. But look at those. Yeah, oh, so right. photographs, guys. Really get looking forward to some high quality photographs from this. Yes, there. and we'll get them on the next show. Absolutely. So I shall say bye bye to our Zoom guys. Yes. And we still have a look though. Hi, we've Luke. He's still back. got a look. He's back. Yeah, <laughs> and um, with that, they were just was saying on there that the rules are different for each country. So check out your local rules. Yes. That, that I think that great is start up. So that's the rules. Now we want to talk about actually how it was for you, Luke, um, because we found this really interesting when we were talking the other day. Um, how it, how you found it actually after being shut down for so long. How, how long were you guys shut down for? Well, um, eight weeks. Eight weeks, right? Okay. That's a so considerable two, two months, yeah. basically, basically two months. Eight so, nine weeks. And what was it like when you reopened? Good. <laughs> what was it like? Um, no, but what was it like? What well, were the customers like? Was it business as usual um, or? Well, exactly. So you didn't know what to expect. Yeah. Um, this should have been the busiest season of the year so this is for the communion season okay uh, all that has been postponed and this will now be september october so yeah. you haven't really lost the business it's just been moved right no so that's great no. that's fantastic and i do expect that many people will throw in parties in summer yes they yeah will start celebrating for the actual communion right I, what's happening with schools with you guys um are schools back or going back or the schools are back, but not for all the years. So it's it's a complicated system. Um, the second grade and the fourth and the sixth or something. Uh, okay. And they have to be in groups of ten kids maximum. Right. Or sometimes up to fourteen, but they would try to have only ten. So they have to uh, look for different classrooms. Um, it's all very complicated some big challenges ahead yes yeah, absolutely the um i mean i know we've we've seen it all over social media time and time again that people are, are kind of making do with the birthdays that are going on right now mm. but they're all saying the same thing of they're planning on doing a big party when things clear up yeah so I, I think that's it's you know it's a lot of promise for the future for us um yep. because well you, know, you might be surprised Babies still get born. Yes, yeah. And birthdays still happen, right? They weren't cancelled. <laughs> yeah. What What sort of things have you yeah. been? Um, Absolutely. What things have you been asked for to start with? You know, is it birthdays? Is it particular themes? Is it just? Uh, in our country, themes is not big. Okay. So, birthdays and and newborns. Core of our core of our business, awesome. Luke. Birthdays and babies. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Absolutely. So, but we are looking forward to getting back at that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And plus, also, on a side note, for many years now, both Keith and I have said all those jobs that we should have done, <laughs> that we would do if we had time. Now now we've had time, so we've had it to Turns do out that wasn't the excuse. <laughs> <laughs> now to go back, now to go back to um, business as usual. Um, I did not expect many people to return in the first days, yet we did have many customers. Um, okay, yeah. Today, I would say we had 20, 25 wow, somewhere okay. paying customers. Because mm -hmm. we, we, we weren't anticipating ourselves. No, we're not. There's no parties. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's going to be... I think what we'll probably see is a higher conversion rate because people are coming for a very specific reason rather yeah. than less people just looking yeah they, they, they've made a decision they want to come they're going to come look talk buy yeah rather than you know sometimes many of our customers might have a few visits to the store to kind of build up what they want come up with some ideas backwards and forwards mm. and that's fine you know we love that because it gives them more time to build that trust and the and the, the bond to then make that that the, the ultimate the transaction at the end of it but i think people are going to come out with that i'm going to buy yes yeah. absolutely yeah i think so yeah i think that, especially and for us we're in a lucky area we're in because we're in a a town center area we get a lot of 
the people just passing and just ha like the idea of the store and and walk in that way and i think we're going to get less of i'm hoping that we get less of those and more serious buyers yeah. on on that side and you definitely have many more people that will start looking on the website mm -hmm. yeah yeah i we think web website is the, definitely important yeah all the qualities balloon boutique arrangements and more we have them on file with a code our code yeah. How to yes. order. It does say what it is and it always says how high it is yes. estimated to be because people have no idea when they look on a website yeah. Yeah. if they're talking about a small or a big balloon. So when you put this is about one and it, it's, it's the most it's the it's most common tip. misconception yeah. of a website purchase. Yeah specifically yeah. for balloons it's is a, the overall size it's it's why lifestyle shots are so important right because once you put a, a person into the shot it gives you an idea of the scale yeah but you, obviously you can't do that for everything so but having that size is have, yeah. we do not have a system where people can buy online and pay okay but people just ring or put this on a mail yeah give us a message yeah, code. but it's that it's, it's that a, visual it's, menu though. It is, you still have that yeah. uh, understanding. It's very hard to describe a full bouquet, mm -hmm. and you'd spend a lot of time doing so. But if they can see that picture, then complete the transaction yeah. with a you know it's a sales full, tool. It's yeah. an it's an online Absolutely. portfolio, and it's ideal because it, it it it's easier to convert those phone calls and emails. But also via you know a phone call about a bouquet, you might not have all the stock that you need, Luke. Because I know at the moment the deliveries for lots of um stock is is is, a, is it's a, not is the a, same as it was yeah it's a consideration things take longer and that's accepted mm -hmm. and i think if you can have a conversation with a customer explaining what you're going to do for them with a you know an alternative product perhaps being able to talk to them to convey that yes. i think is a fantastic way to build the confidence this this is what uh, many customers or not many but sometimes a customer will do anyhow they see an arrangement with an orange, a green, and a red balloon, and they will say, can I actually have a purple, or can you skip that color because of football yeah. team yeah. or whatever? Exactly, so, yes. <laughs> but I think yeah. and that, that, you know, that's, that's what's important. What's important to us is the overall design is not being changed, so it fits within the price mm. bracket that we're selling it for. But if we're switching, you know, a color for a color or a print for a print, you know, we can accommodate that we're a business that is capable of delivering that level of service. Um, and I think that's very important. And you can't always do that with a, you know, a, a direct with a website uh, on its own. It's, mm. it's using all those channels that you have, whether it's Facebook messaging, um, email, telephone, all those tools along with the website. I'm is, sorry, I was distracted. I'm still looking at some of the people that are in, for the, still working. In the yeah <laughs> on the competition side, and the, um, some people have left, but um, there's some people that are just setting up ready for taking photographs. It's a much and, cleaner area for a lot of them right now yeah, for the photographs. <laughs> I tell you what, some of the detail that's in there, I can't wait to see the photographs. Um, and of course, we'll make sure that the uh, photo, all the photographs are available through one of the the, the many mediums that Qualitex has. Um, to share you won't miss you. them. Yes. You won't. You won't miss them. So how many? How many are having a drink now? <laughs> There's a lot well, of people some of them waving. Started yes, yeah, we can see you <laughs> waving. Yes, well, well some done, of them started with drinks. There we go. <laughs> we've got our we've got our guys from Thailand over there as well waving with the, um, we the cactus with the cool, and llama crew going on. Uh, there's a really cute unicorn sitting in the corner. I tell you what, these are fantastic. Uh, I can't believe what's capable. It's a what's great possible inspiration for getting back to work. I know that. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Right. Well, we've overrun by an no. hour and and a bit it's right, because of it, technical issues. No, we can blame Luke. Ah, okay, blame Luke. Inner said it was okay to blame I Luke. We, so. I, I also forgot as well. I was going to bring my Luke look hat. Uh, I yeah, I know. I have mine in my office. <laughs> so <laughs> the Luke look. The Luke look. Now, many viewers won't know about the Luke look. We'll 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 explain it later. Dave. I think what we should do is it's around. So Luke, I think in your Facebook group, the Balloon Artistry of uh, yeah. Lucatron, I think you should post that picture of the Luke look. Of the Luke look. You know the one from the teachers meeting. Okay. Yeah, I think you should yeah, post it, it in there. I think it needs to go yeah, on. And then you guys can have a little look over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, Luke, thank you very much. Yes, thank you for taking for your, your time, time to do that. And your knowledge, welcome. your experience. And thank you, Innes, for doing all the work in the background there. As always. Well, 
Well, that's exactly what happens. Um, <laughs> we know. She is the boss in the shop. Yes. We know. She is the face of the shop. Not just in the shop, and Luke. And <laughs> I, only, I only go in the shop if there's many customers, if she needs help. When I ask my customers how I can help, quite often they will say, no, it's fine. We will wait till the lady is free. <laughs> At this point, Ines usually says, but he knows a little bit about balloons as well. <laughs> Bravo, Ines. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. It I is. It's it. absolutely fantastic. If only they knew. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you very much, Luke. So we're going to yes. say bye-bye to this young gentleman over here. Thank and, you for um, sharing. If, if people have more questions, right. do not hesitate. Do not hesitate to ask. I'm, I'm happy to help. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very generous, yes. as always. Ciao for now, Mr. Bertrand. Bye-bye. Ciao. Superb. Well, that was uh, very much appreciated. That was a very good look and insight into... Luke's inner workings there, how he's... And how he's gone back to business, you know. Yeah. It's, it's not, not quite the same. business as usual. No. Nope. But, you know, it's very positive. Like Luke said, he's getting a lot more business than he actually thought he was going to get on the first day. Yeah. And, you know, he's been open, I think, about a week and a half now. So... Yeah. And I think what he's done is he's managed to convey a very good message to his customers one for confidence and two for making sure you're not having those wasted conversations with customers about all those negativities yeah he, he's he's painted that picture and now you've got that that positive strong reinforcement of we can do business if we abide by the straightforward no nonsense absolutely and the thing is as well is that like um we keep on talking about these golden nuggets right yeah, you know, and people ask what the golden nuggets are about, and the golden nuggets is it's it's an idea, right? It's an idea that you can take away from whatever you've learned, and you can put it into your business, yep, and have a positive impact. And I think and there's many ways of looking at that, whether it's money, it's yes. time, it's or a little confidence. tiny tip, or could anything a, could be anything. Yep. But my golden nugget from today was the cotton bud, the Q-tip, okay, for yep. the. Um, for the machine, I I'd never seen that, and I think it's it's a really good answer to a problem. I, I, I like I like that one, but I like the hanging screen. The hanging screen, yeah, is, yeah. is my kind of, you know, we, you know, of ways of adapting our counter to suit, and then we've got our balloon counter to suit, and to build a structure, it would be a, a consideration. Whereas to get some perspex, hang it like that. Yeah, it's simple, but. As effective, if not more effective. Somebody just said that their golden nugget was the cameo yeah. to create the, create the, the spots. Yeah, in the right. you know. Now you reminded yeah. me of that one. Absolutely. That, yeah, because you know what we we would have we would have, and we're cameo like yeah. cameo users to the max. But we probably would have bought something because it's so readily available everywhere. People are selling them all over the place at the moment. But you know what? It's in your face, we, in your we face. We can just do face. it ourselves oh, and we can make it our own. A little bit by, of branding. By doing that. With so. the colours. Yeah. Absolutely. So, right. Well, thank you very I'm much. I'm conflicted now to my golden nugget. <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear what your golden nugget yeah. was. Um, so you can either discuss it, you can leave a comment later on, especially leave a like. And you can always go on to Mr. Q's Facebook page and let us know on on there what your golden nugget was yes once again many apologies for not coming at our normal time tonight and many thanks to our participants who waited waited so patiently in the wings there whilst we got ourselves and also as well as that luke was waiting that entire time as well so well he, he managed to grow he didn't even didn't have he didn't even have a cup of tea brought for him i'll <laughs> tell you what he's gonna have to have a word with these what what do you have kids for if not to bring a cup of tea come on <laughs> I don't know. Right, okay, we'll see you all again um, in, we'll see you all again live in two weeks' time. But we remember, will. be subscribed and have that notification on because you never know when we might just pop up and say hello. You never know. Might be on time. Stay safe, guys. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye-bye.